I put here that refugee status, uh, this definition of refugee status, it's actually from United um, States Citizenship in Immigration Services. Um, that means that refugees, they have the main um, cause for resettling refugees, it's actually humanitarian concern. The number of refugees um, are decided by Congress and, in, and President of the United States. Usually, um, President once a year, uh, after consultation with, with Congress, decide on the numbers. How many refugees will be um, resettled in the United States and that number, um, in order to reach the number, all the process and everything needs to work very well. Um, very rarely that happens. That means if, for example, um, in one of the refugee camps where um, refugees needed to go through interview process or through interview with immigration um, officers, if something happens in that region that officers don't feel safe to go, that circuit ride, how it's called, <coughs> will be cancelled or postponed until the time that they feel safe. That means um, the whole process and everything, depending on so many, there are so many moving parts in a whole process that it's very, very hard to say when somebody applies um, and go and start the process of resettling when they are coming to the United States. Um, in a best option would be two years, in a best option. Um, but as I said, we had refugees that they spent 20, 30 years in camps. There are generations and generations that never lived in normal setting. The only um, life that they know is actually living in refugee camp. Um, this is a process um, of coming to the United States. The first one, it's a refugee, and um, we try to actually present that all the processing and everything goes before the refugee comes to the United States. Um, as I said, asylum seekers, all their process is actually happening in the United States. That means sometimes they are in immigration detention facilities until that process goes through, or they're just given a temporary um, documents until their case go through immigration courts and they get approved or denied. If they are denied, they need to leave the country. Um, we talked about the registration, UNHCR or um, other non-governmental organizations, they actually um, do the first interview. That's the time when they get all my data, um, they get all information about the family. Recently we actually watched a documentary program about one family that was placed in the DAV. The DAV is a huge uh, refugee camp in Somalia. And um, when originally family was placed there, they actually um, were five members of the family. A father, mother, and three children. One of the kids was a boy. And pretty soon after placing them in a, in a refugee camp, father died. And the little boy felt that he was a man of the family. He needed to actually provide for his family. And somehow he sneaked in a bus and went to, from the dark to Nairobi to find a job because he heard that's a big town and he would be able to work. And he was employed in a restaurant, but it seems 
all his dreams about the job and saving money to help like his sisters and mothers did not work actually he stayed there um, person who employed him did not allow him to leave did not pay him and um, finally after a few years there was a person who came to that restaurant that the little boy knew and actually helped them help him run away he ended up back in the dub, but in that period of time, his mother and sisters actually started the process of um, registration. And because he was not there, he was not, even though the mother mentioned him, he was not present, and they did not take his name anything in consideration. And actually, they went through the process they came here, he stayed eight more years until he joined his mother and sisters. And um, that's just one of the stories. That means everybody um, who is in a camp or who is registered, they need to be physically present. Otherwise, UNHCR does not register them. <coughs> They are picked for resettlement. There are lots of security checks. Uh, actually, refugees are the most screened group of travelers to United States. They go um, through at least seven to eight different checks from FBI, uh, Department of Homeland Security, um, State Department, um, National Security Agency, uh, Central Intelligence Agency. There are so many checks and they usually need to work together at the same time for a person to be actually cleared. If one of the places don't work simultaneously, what happening, because all these security checks, they have time frames. That means they are good for 15 months. And if one agency processed your case, but another one maybe did not have or had somebody who was on sick leave or something happened, they displaced your file in a case that one of the agencies did not clear your name, actually your case goes back from the beginning. And that's one of the reasons why um, refugees spend years and years waiting for their security checks to be done. After security check is done, um, and after the interview with UNHCR, sometimes the refugee service center that helps processing in Africa, but also other non-governmental organizations help in different parts of the world before um, a refugee meets with an um, immigration officer. And actually, when refugee pass this interview, they can say that they're coming to the United States. Not 100%, but 90%. 90%. After um, the next, after the interview, again the name and everything goes through biometric checks. That means um, they look through the different databases to make sure that the name, um, date of birth of the person did not show up on counter terrorist groups or um, lost documents. It's it's just enormous. Um, process of checking before the refugee comes. I just added some of the uh, of the names of the agencies. As I said, the best option is two years, but that's very rarely. Um, sometimes it's easier if, for example, country has. Um, country in war had a good um, 
records and everything. I know for Somali clients, we have a very hard time because Somali um, did not have actually written language until 1978. That means they did not have records of birth. Um, and usually in that case, you will have um, families and DNA checks, uh, tests to actually um, make sure that they are related.